We learned this morning of serious issues with the government's contracting out of ODSP mail sorting to a for-profit company. This company, Nimble, has created problems in the ODSP mailroom that have led to delays or suspensions of ODSP recipients' files, meaning people aren't able to access the supports they need for medication, diabetic supplies, and wheelchair repairs. This is right now. This is not something in some distant future. Uh, we also, it's also important to note that the civil service already has a mail room. Why are we contracting out to another private organization to sort the mail, which they are bungling, and then people aren't getting the resources that they need? Thank you very much. The question is, will the government stop the contracting out of ODSP's mail sorting today? Minister. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you for the, uh, for the question to the member opposite. Uh, we know that Ontario Works was always intended to be a temporary measure, but we're looking as a government, how do we help people get into the workforce who can work, and how do we support those who cannot work? And that's exactly why we've created the program that we have done. We're bringing back the central administration into government so that there are more people being able to provide the services at the front line to people who need the job training, the job connections, the networks that is going to allow them to become a productive members of society in meaningful, purposeful work. And that's why the work that I'm, I'm doing with Minister McNaughton is so important to, to create people over paperwork. Uh, and, and you mentioned very important aspects of, of efficiencies. We are a person-centered, efficient, and responsive transformation Response. process. That's what we're doing, creating a person at the center of everything we do to allow people to be job-ready and, and part of our economy as we help those who cannot work.